So now we want to make a cDNA library. So the library is ultimately going to be E. coli cells, each of which contains one, but no more than one of these different insert containing cDNAs. So we mix the two together under conditions which allow transformation. You remember transformation as the very early experiment uh, of Griffith using Streptococcus. He discovered that Streptococcus under the right conditions will take up DNA and incorporate the DNA into the cell. Well, you can do the same thing here, only this time the plasmid is being taken up. It's done under conditions where one plasmid ends up inside of a cell. The cells are not healthy if they take up more than one plasmid, and so those which take up two plasmids will generally not survive. So what you end up with is a tube full of E. coli cells, each with a different plasmid in it. Now, there's obviously redundancy here. Right? There are many cells that have taken up versions of the same plasmid or recombinant plasmid. But the bottom line is there are millions of cells here. That's your library. Now, the issue, of course, is how do you pick out of that library a clone that has something that you want, that you can clone a lot of? So how do you find, in this case, a globin cDNA clone?